Hello and welcome, Justin Trading Company here. This is part two of our Bannon Storage Locker Find. We are gonna jump in the Pulp Fiction magazines behind me and I went ahead and invited my dad into the video so he can give us some more information and see what the stuff is worth. So let's go ahead and take a look before we invite him on. There's a lot of stuff here, just stacks and stacks of the Pulp Fiction magazines. And all I know is this stuff is worth good money. And a lot of the covers are just absolutely amazing. Just take a look at some of the covers here. Just a lot of stuff going on. So, we're gonna just follow this table down and then we'll go and invite my dad in the video. Stacks of the Shadow, two stacks of short stories huge stack of detectives like look at that massive stack my goodness so dad welcome to the video what can you tell me more information about the pulp fictions that i don't already know dude you've been busy i most definitely tried to i wasn't expecting this much pulp fiction out of this unit at all i mean this is incredible Tell me, what do you know about Pulp Fiction? I don't know much. That's why I invited you onto the video, because I don't really know much about Pulp Fiction. All I know is they're maybe around maybe 1920s, 30s, and 40s. Um, maybe around uh, 30, 40 bucks a piece. But am I around the ballpark range? Or? No, you're right in the ballpark range. Sweet, that's there what I figured. There are some in here that are probably going to fetch three to $400 a piece. Um, Pulp Fictions were the precursor of comic books. So back before comic books existed, Pulp Fiction novels was where it was all at. Uh -huh. And uh, these started in 1830s, I think, with the penny novels, and they kind of went up from there. Um, the thing that really drew people in was the artwork on the cover. But these were never, ever intended to be collected. They weren't made for long term. They were meant to be purchased and then thrown away. Um, so to find a collection of these is rare and un unto itself to find them in this condition is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so most we've definitely. got a lot of money here. Um, let's kind of dive into it. So you can see here like this is Sky Hunters, June of uh, 19 looks like 1935. Uh, this is all World War One kind of uh, stories inside of here. Phantom Detective, you already saw that. This is a 15 center, so this is- I mean, is... just look at that artwork. She's getting choked out of a guy in a car. Oh, yeah. You know, originally when uh, Pulp Fiction came out, there was a lot of uh, public scrutiny over the moral factor because- oh, yeah, I can imagine. A lot of the novels were just sensationalized and depicted crime or, you know, gunfights and stuff like that. So this is an incredible collection. Uh, so you've got Sky Fighters, look at this. Thrilling wonder. It looks like they're trying to be saved from some kind of a, I don't know, shipwreck or something. Something. Look at this. This is from uh, like World War II. <laughs> oh, that was badass. Yeah. So he's probably in like a B-17 shooting down German that fighters. Cool. You got Adventure Magazine. Lots of Adventure Magazines. Oh, wow, dude. So yeah, here's a, here's a good example. So this is a penny novel. This was for one penny. One penny. One penny back in the day. One this penny. Is, this is a uh, Robin Hood number one, fourth edition. <whistles> so this is probably from like uh, the late uh, 1800s, maybe 1900. Um, I don't even think you'd be able to find an example of this anywhere online for sale. Uh, very, very rare, but like I said, these were never intended to be collected. These were meant to be thrown away at the end of the week. Now, is that more I see of those penny novels? Yeah, yeah. So you've got number six, uh, Robin Hood number eight, and wow. uh, Robin Hood number three, number nine, almost the whole collection. That's crazy. Yeah. So this guy was a hardcore collector for his Pulp Fiction. He definitely spent oh, some money in his man. collection. So this is really what you want to find. The so Westerns? The, yeah, Dime Store Westerns. Mm. So this is the same novel. This is from uh, October. It doesn't even say the year. We'd have to open it up to find out. But, I mean, these are the kind of magazines that you would buy down at the, the local uh, pharmacy, the local uh, general store. And this is what kids were reading back in the day. Believe it or not, guys, 
Cell phones weren't around in the 1920s, 1930s, and there was no TV and very little radio. So this was your primary source of uh, entertainment, uh, unless you're going to a movie theater. That's awesome. And Pulp Fictions were made for like your lower to lower middle class people as forms of entertainment that didn't, you know, have the money to go out and buy an, a novel, you know. So these are these are awesome. Oh, they're most definitely awesome, man. And if you look at the covers, I mean, look at this. You got a black cat. It looks like a, it's a bar. That's probably the bartender. Spooky. What's the name of this? Uh, story about a cat. Story about a cat. <laughs> William Chamberlain. Oh, and look at this. So you got the stagecoach there. Now this oh, is a yeah. 25 cent novel. So most likely this is probably from like the 1940s, maybe 1950s. 50s. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he looks like he's in no good trouble. That is cr That guy's Look scary. Look at the hood on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's got a hammer. He's up yeah. to no good. But this is... That's um, cool, though. Oh, look. It's what actually... What does that say? I didn't even know that. Oh, so it's got all kinds of notes on here. So possibly the owner before us was making notes on all of his collections. So we have a lot of research to do on this stuff. Yeah. So it could be worth thousands, maybe 5,000. Look at here, Doc Savage. Now this is popular novels, and I've seen some of these go up to three, four hundred dollars. This guy ain't surviving from this story, I can no. tell you that. The King of Terror, and this is uh, April 1943. Now keep in mind the condition these things just look absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, look at that. There's barely a crease, no stains. I mean, very, this is what collectors are looking for when they want to buy this kind of stuff. Very little chipping around the, the edges. Just beautiful. And the artistry in the cover is really what sells these. Oh, so look at this. South Sea Stories. He's about to whack him with a broken bottle. This is the first issue. It's like a pirate's magazine almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Black Book Detective. So uh, detective novels, crime stories, westerns, all of these were great novels to have back in the day. But, you know, nobody ever kept them. They were never really collected, and definitely not to this kind of level. So we're going to still be deciding on what we want to do with this, whether it's we're going to sell it ourselves. Now, we have already listed a few Pulp Fictions that we found earlier in the unit on our eBay site. So if you check out our eBay site, they might still be up for sale. We have a few in auction right now. What we're gonna do with this, I really have no idea. Either we're gonna sell it ourselves or we're gonna be sending this off to Heritage along with a lot of the comic uh, book art and cell animations that we have from Disney along with those World War I posters, oh, yeah. which are amazing, by the way. We might have to do a video on those kind of stuff at a later time, because if we get enough hits and comments, we might do another private video on it. Definitely, definitely. And if you have any idea, any information about what it is we're looking at, I'm not an expert, I just know a little bit about history, but if you know anything about values on this, please hit us up, leave a comment below. Most definitely. Because we're, we're still learning everything. Um, be a good student, and that's what I always learn. If you stop learning, you start dying. So, yeah, uh, definitely. So we look forward to our next video. Um, if you have any questions, just send out a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Put a like on the video for us, and give us some comments. Let us know what you think, and stay tuned. We'll go ahead and let you know how this ends.